Hey guys, in this video we're looking at a couple of examples. The first is using the velocity equations we saw in the latter half of the previous video and the second example is using the Darcy friction factor. So in example one we've got a fully developed flow through a 10 centimeter diameter pipe with maximum velocity 5 meters per second. We've been asked to find the volume flow rate in the pipe. So the volume flow rate uses V average, we need to make sure we're using V average for this one. Uh, it's quite a simple example, so there's not too much to calculate here. We know that our V average is half of our V max. And our V max we get from the question, we've been told maximum velocity is 5 meters per second. So we just halve that to get our V average. And using our average velocity, we multiply by the area of the pipe um, to get the flow rate. We have Q equals V average times area, which is 2.5 times pi 0.1 squared. Was that our diameter was 10 centimeters? So 0.1 squared divided by 4, uh, which is 0.0196 meters cubed per second. Here's our second example. What is the maximum allowable pressure drop if the flow is to be laminar? The fluid is water at 20 degrees Celsius. So straight away we know we're using the Darcy friction factor for laminar flow. So let's write out that equation. Delta P equals half rho V squared times L on D times F times F R E where F R E equals 64 on R E which is the Darcy friction factor for laminar flows. Now we need our fluid properties which we we know from the question it's water at 20 degrees Celsius so we know that for water uh, rho is 998 kilograms per meter cubed and mu is 1.002 times 10 to the minus 3 kilograms per meter second. We know the distance between the pressure gauges L is 1 meter and the diameter of the pipe is 1 millimeter which is 0 0.001 meters. We know that in order to find the maximum pressure drop we need to input the